Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me. I'm Mackenzie. Today we are going to do a core focus yoga class. This is a faster paced class, so we are going to build up some heat throughout the body, work through our core, maybe get into our shoulders a little bit. So if that sounds good to you, let's roll out the mat and get started. So we are actually gonna get started seated on our mat. So come on down into an easy seat. Cross your legs out in front. Sit up nice and tall. Take a second here. You can close your eyes if you would like. Just take a second to notice how you're feeling at the beginning of our time together. Take one nice deep breath in. And exhale, release, let it all go. You can start to blink your eyes open and sweep your arms up towards the sky. We're gonna move into a twist, so sweep your, we're gonna move into a twist, so bring your right hand behind you and bring your left elbow, bring your left hand to your right knee. You can sit up a little bit taller and switch other side, left hand behind, right hand to left knee. Really feeling your spine start to work. And sweep the arms up, moving into a twist on the right side again, left hand to right knee, right hand reaches behind. Sit up tall. And then keeping your twist, we're gonna reach our right arm up over. And release all that. Sweep the arms up ahead. And then moving into the other side. Left hand comes behind, right hand to left knee. Sit up tall. And then reach your left arm over. Release all that, sweep the arms up, and then bring your hands on in front. Start to crawl your hands forward, making your way into a tabletop. Take a peek, make sure your shoulders are, wrist, are in line with your wrists and your hips are in line with your knees. We're gonna move through a couple rounds of cow and cat, really starting to work into your spine. So our next inhale, gaze forward, roll the shoulders down and back, drop your belly, cow. Exhale, press the mat away, round through your spine, hug your tailbone for cat. Inhale, gaze forward, gently drop your lower back. And exhale, press into the mat, feel the space in between your shoulder blades expand for cat. One more time each way, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat, press that mat away. Inhale, come back to tabletop neutral position. Exhale, kick your right leg straight back, point all five toes down, and then start to engage your core and sweep your left arm straight out in front. Coming into a bit of a balance challenge here. And release your hand down to your back leg, coming back into your tabletop. Move straight into the other side. Kick your left leg straight back. Find stability. And then sweep your right arm straight, right out in front. breathing and dropping your right hand release your back knee coming back into your tabletop from here we're gonna tuck your toes under and bring both knees to hover and release coming up into your first down dog of the day 
You bend your knees. Bend your knees. Think about lengthening through your back spine. Maybe walk your hands a little bit more forward if that is comfortable. Gaze forward towards your hands. Step or hop your feet up to meet your hands. Coming into a forward fold at the top of the mat. Bend your knees. Let your chest come to hang on your thighs. And your next inhale, halfway lift. Straighten your legs, gaze forward. And exhale, release back into your forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, palms come in front of your heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, release back down into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant the palms on the mat. Step your left foot back and then your right. We're going to move through Chaturanga here. So on your next inhale, start to shift your weight forward. Lower halfway down as if you're taking a push-up. Roll the shoulders down and back. Come up onto the tops of your feet. Lift your chest. Up dog. Exhale, release back through downward facing dog. Take a moment here. Pedal onto your feet. Bend and straighten your legs. And come back to stillness. On your next inhale, we're going to shift our weight forward, coming into a plank. And shift your weight into your right foot, right hand, coming up into a side plank. And sweep your left arm towards the sky. Hold. And release back through plank position, coming up onto your left foot, side plank on your left side. You can sweep your right arm up if that's comfortable. And we're going to keep breathing, building engagement through your core, and release back to plank, straight up into downward facing dog. Really lengthen through your spine. Take a moment to breathe here. On your next inhale, look forward towards your hands. Step or hop your hands up to meet your feet. Coming into a forward fold at the top of the mat. Release. Inhale, halfway lift. Gaze forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, coming all the way up to standing. Exhale, palms come in front of your heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Release everything. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Draw the shoulders out of your ears. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the palms on the mat, step your right foot back and then your left. Moving through that chaturanga again, shift your weight forward. Come on down as if you're going to take a push up, halfway down, roll the shoulders down and back. Come up onto the tops of your feet, up dog, and then press straight back into down dog. Rolling back over your feet. Take a moment here, maybe catch your breath. Gaze forward towards your hands. And next, inhale, sweep your left leg up. Exhale, draw your knee into your nose. Inhale, sweep your left leg up. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, sweep the leg up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, sweep the leg back up. Shift your weight forward, coming into a one-legged plank. And then if you can, do a one-legged chaturanga. Start to bend your elbows, come halfway down, drop your feet, drop both feet, coming into up dog. 
and then pressing straight back into downward facing dog. Take a moment to breathe here. One full round of breath. And on your next inhale, sweep your right leg towards the sky. Exhale, and draw your right knee into your chest. Inhale, sweep your leg up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, sweep your leg back up. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, sweep your leg back up. Exhale, find your way into a plate. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, shift your weight more forward onto your hands. Lower halfway down into Chaturanga. Drop your back feet. Up to up. And then press straight back into downward facing dog. Release your knees, press your hips back towards your heels. Release your head coming into downward, coming into child's pose. Take a moment here. You can close your eyes. Taking some nice deep breaths in and out. Maybe catching your breath. Start to feel your heart rate lower. And you can blink your eyes open if they were closed. Walk your hands back to your feet. Coming into a seated position coming into a seat on top of your feet at the back of the mat. We're going to move into a modified camel pose next. So bring your knees out wide to the outer edges of your mat. Sweep your fingertips behind you. Start to press into your fingertips, lift your hips off the mat, open the chest. Release your core. and come back down. You can draw your knees back in, sway your feet around, coming into an easy seat. Sit up tall. Take a moment in the seated position. Maybe close your eyes. Notice how you're feeling now towards the end of class versus at the beginning. Maybe you feel a little bit more energized. Feel the work you did through your core, through your whole body, warming everything up, and then cooling it all down. When you're ready, you can start to blink your eyes open. Thanks so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time on the mat. Bye.